Whether you're a small startup or a large multinational corporation, businesses these days continue to face complex challenges and most of the times it is very difficult to navigate an increasingly complex landscape of regulations, risks and governance. Failure to do so can result in serious consequences from financial losses to legal penalties and even damage to a company's reputation. But how do companies effectively manage this complexity? The answer lies in GRC. So GRC stands for Governance, Risk and Compliance. By adopting a GRC framework, companies can not only mitigate risks, but also seize new opportunities by aligning their compliance efforts with strategic goals. And you know what is the best part of GRC? The best part is that GRC is scalable. It can work for businesses of any size and in any industry. So in this video on GRC, let us have a look at the topics that we are going to cover. So first of all, we will have a look at what exactly is GRC, the definition of GRC, and then we will deep dive into the concepts and fundamentals of GRC. Moving on, we will also compare security with GRC. Moving further, we will have a look at the Gartner report on GRC tool. And finally, we will have a look at some of the GRC tools which are available in the market right now. So this was the agenda and I hope the agenda is pretty much clear to each and every one of you. So the first point is, what is GRC? So GRC stands for Governance, Risk and Compliance. It's not just a buzzword. It's a framework that integrates how businesses manage corporate governance, assess and mitigate risks, and ensure compliance with laws and regulations. GRC brings together these interconnected disciplines into a cohesive system, reducing redundancy and enhancing visibility across the organization. But before we deep dive, let's break down what each of these components really mean and how they come together. So let's start with governance. So governance is about how decisions are made within a company. It's about accountability, transparency, and making sure the right people have right responsibilities. Think of governance as the rules and processes that direct how the organization operates. Next, let's talk about risk. In businesses, risks are unavoidable. They can range from financial risks and operational risks to technological risks like cyber attacks or data breaches. Risk management is about identifying these potential problems before they happen, assessing how they could impact the organization and taking steps to mitigate them. So think of risk management as a proactive measure. It's like setting up firewalls to prevent a data breach or putting financial safeguards in place to protect against sudden economic downturns. A good risk management strategy doesn't just focus on avoiding threats, but it also prepares the company to respond effectively when the challenges arise. And last but not the least, we have compliance. So compliance is about following rules, whether those are government regulations, industry standards or internal policies. These rules might include data privacy laws such as GDPR, financial regulations like Serbain's Oxley or health and safety guidelines. So non-compliance can lead to severe penalties, both financial and legal. But compliance is more than just checking off the boxes. It's about integrating these rules into day-to-day -day operations of a business. So when compliance is woven into the company culture, it becomes second nature for employees to follow best practices and uphold the organization's value. And now let's move ahead and discuss few of its fundamentals. So understanding the core concepts of GR and those fundamentals are, and the first one over here is the unified framework. So GRC eliminates silos by creating a centralized platform for governance, risk and compliance efforts. So this unified approach ensures better collaboration across departments. Next, we have risk management. So a proactive risk management process identifies potential threats and assess their impact, allowing organizations to prioritize and mitigate them before they become critical issues. 
The next point over here is the regulatory compliance. So adhering to industry regulations such as the GDPR, SOX and HIPAA is crucial to avoid legal repercussions. So GRC frameworks ensure companies remain compliant with evolving standards. The next point over here is the corporate governance. So effective governance requires clear rules, responsibilities and accountability structures within an organization. So GRC systems help monitor and enforce these governance practices. And finally, we have the performance alignment. So GRC is not about just risk avoidance. It also ensures that risk and compliance efforts are aligned with organizations strategic objectives, ultimately driving performance and growth. So just to give you an example, a multinational bank using a GRC platform can streamline its compliance with local banking regulations, ensuring data privacy standards across global operations and proactively mitigate risks like cybersecurity breaches or cyber frauds. Now let's move ahead and discuss what is the difference between security and GRC. So security focuses on protecting the company's assets, things like data, systems and networks. It is more of a tactical and deals with day-to-day -day threats that can compromise a company's operations. GRC, on the other hand, operates more on a strategic level. While security is concerned with preventing data breaches or hacking attempts, GRC ensures that these security measures are aligned with the company's overall governance and compliance needs. It is the bigger picture which ensures that security efforts fit into a well-managed, risk-aware and compliant organization. So both security and GRC are crucial, but GRC helps organizations achieve a balance between risk management and compliance while ensuring that security practices are strategically aligned. According to the latest report, there has been a significant shift towards cloud-based GRC solutions driven by the need for flexibility, scalability, and integration with other enterprise systems. According to Gartner, vendors like ServiceNow, RSA, Archer, and SAP or SAP GRC are leading the market, providing integrated solutions that address both regulatory compliance and enterprise risk management in a single platform. So in the Gartner's annual report, there have been a few of the key trends that have been highlighted in that particular report. And those key trends are increased focus on automation. Now let us move ahead and discuss what are the top five GRC tools that are available in the market. So several GRC tools cater to different business needs industry and regulatory requirements. So now if you have a look at the top five of the GRC tools, which are dominating this space. So the first one over here is RSA Archer. So RSA Archer is widely regarded for its comprehensive GRC capabilities, offering tools for managing risk, compliance and audit processes. Its robust reporting features help businesses stay informed about risk exposure and compliance status. The next tool on this list is ServiceNow GRC. So ServiceNow's GRC platform enables organizations to connect IT, risk and compliance functions under one system. With its user-friendly interface and automated workflows, businesses can effectively and efficiently manage regulatory compliance security policies and audits. The third tool in this list is SAP or SAP GRC. So SAP GRC is ideal for large enterprises looking to integrate governance, risk and compliance across multiple business units. It offers advanced analytics and dashboards to manage risks in real time, thereby ensuring compliance with industry standards. The next tool in this list is LogicGate. So LogicGate is a flexible GRC solution aimed at mid-sized businesses offering highly customizable workflows and integrations, and that too with other enterprises. 
Its visual workflow builder makes it easier for teams to map out risk management and compliance process. And last but not the least, the next tool that we have over here is Metric Stream. So known for its scalability, Metric Stream caters to global organizations with complex governance and compliance needs. It supports end-to-end -end risk management, regulatory compliance, audit, and vendor risk assessment, making it suitable for highly regulated industries like healthcare and finance. So guys, we have come to the end part of this video. And the conclusion over here is that as businesses continue to face increasing regulatory pressures and complex risk environments, a robust GRC framework becomes essential for long-term success. GRC tools not only help mitigate risks and ensure compliance, but they also enable organizations to align these efforts with their strategic goals, thereby enhancing the performance and resilience. So with the right GRC platform, businesses can navigate regulatory requirements and emerging risks more effectively, thereby fostering a culture of accountability and governance across the enterprise. So guys, that's it from my side in this particular video on GRC. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If at all you have any doubts or queries, you can write them in the comment section and we will try to resolve your doubts and queries as soon as possible. So guys, thank you so much for being with us and I wish you all the very best.